All right, one thing people are really bad at is understanding big numbers. We know that a billion is a thousand million, but if we don't even understand what a million is, we can't understand what a thousand times that would be. So I tried to put this in terms that everyone can understand, which is Twinkies. So we'll first look at a million dollars worth of Twinkies compared to a billion dollars worth of Twinkies. So our million dollars, uh, the price tends to be about $3 per box. So that would give us 333,333 boxes of Twinkies. So we, there's an estimation that 353,000 babies are born each day, which would mean that we can give every single baby born on a certain day a nice little birthday present of nine Twinkies each. Okay, that's a million dollars. Now let's look at a billion dollars worth of Twinkies. So that would give us a thousand times what a million dollars gets us, which is 333 million, 333,000, and 333 boxes. So here's an estimation of the population of the USA. That means we can give every single person in the United States their own box. And then we still have about 9 million boxes left over. So those babies who are only getting a dismal 9 Twinkies each for their birthday, now we can give them 25 and a half boxes each. Okay, so that gives us an idea of how big a billion is compared to a million. All right, now we're going to just skip past a trillion and talk about the national debt, which is about 20 trillion. So here's our fearless... Uh, hero and what he's going to do is every time he takes a step he's going to earn a dollar and we're going to see how long it takes him to earn a million dollars and then a billion dollars and then the national debt uh, as it sits right now or on January 7th about 20 trillion so obviously he's going to take a million steps that's uh, I used an average stride of about two and a half feet so that's 2.5 million feet 473 miles. According to Google Maps, that's going to take us roughly from San Francisco to San Diego. He won't quite make it to San Diego, but almost. So he's got a nice long walk, but he's got to gear up for a longer one because a billion dollars, okay, that's obviously it's going to be 2.5 billion feet that he's going to be walking. So the circumference, and that's 473,000 miles, right? A thousand times that distance that he walked from San Francisco to San Diego. So the circumference of the earth at the equator is about 25,000 miles. So that means that to earn a billion dollars, he has to walk the equivalent of 19 times around the earth, around the equator. So a little bit longer than that walk from San Francisco to San Diego. All right, well, now we got to talk about the national debt, though. So uh, I just did the conversion from feet to miles automatically. So that's 9.5 billion miles that he has to walk. So let's put Pluto in here. Pluto is 4.67 billion miles away. The sun, there he is. He's 92.96 million miles away. So here's the distance that he has to walk. So first he's going to walk to Pluto and back just right through the sun. Okay, so we subtract two times Pluto's distance from Earth. And then he walks to the sun. Okay, so we subtract the distance to the sun. And with that, those distances walked, we still have about 15 million miles left to walk. So I guess he just teleports back to Earth or something, I don't know. And then... With that 15 million miles left, he has to walk around the equator 597 times. So remember, to walk around, to earn a billion dollars, he just had to walk around 19 times. Now, after walking to Pluto and back, to the sun and back, he still has to walk around the equator 600 times, uh, roughly. So that gives us an idea of how big this debt actually is. But I know what everyone is really wondering is how many Twinkies would this get us? We can figure that out pretty easily. Just take our national debt, divide it by the cost of a box of Twinkies. Uh, that gets us 6.65 trillion boxes. Okay, so remember that a, a billion dollars worth, that made it so everybody in America could have their own box. And then we had enough left over that all the newborn babies on that day in the world could get 25 and a half boxes each as a birthday present. So now with the national debt, we get 6.65 trillion boxes, which is enough to give every single person on the planet 903 boxes. So to get an idea of how long that's going to last us, each person is going to have 4,500 packs of Twinkies. Uh, each box has five packs, uh, with a pack having two Twinkies, right? So if we have the self-control to eat one pack a day, every person could make this supply of Twinkies last over 12 years. And then if you don't have the self-control to eat one pack a day and you want to eat like a box a day, the supply would still last you uh, like two and a half years. So it's a lot of Twinkies. Uh, so hopefully this exercise has given us an idea of uh, how big these numbers actually are and put the national debt number in perspective. And we can just continually watch it rise and be sad. Okay, thanks for watching.